Here are the top 10 worst categories for free-to-play units. I had to limit it to only 10 because there's actually more than 10 categories that are really bad for a free-to-play team. If you guys do enjoy today's video, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. But let's get into the top 10 worst free-to-play categories for free-to-play units. So the first category is Otherworld Warriors. One of the benefits of this team is at least you can build a team which some of the other categories that we're going to be looking at might not be able to do so. Unfortunately, however, the friend leaders of choice, Super Saiyan 2, Angel Goku, and Golden Frieza, aren't the greatest in 2022, unfortunately. And one bad gripe, most of the free-to-play units in here are pretty unique, which means that they won't link up too well other than the Angel Gokus. The next category that we have is All Out Struggle. They struggle to build even a full free-to-play team. And they don't even have a 170% friend leader, which is quite unfortunate. The only representations on this team is LR Master Roshi. And then you have to find the scraps, which is like the Bardocks, and even having to fill out the rest of the teams with SSRs. Not too good of a category, in my opinion. Our eighth category is Universe 11. This category has just been forgotten. They haven't done anything for Universe Survival Saga this year, so... That is a given. Literally only two free-to-play characters in here. If there's a Super Battle Road that comes out for Universe 11, you will be expecting me to never beat it for a very long time. Next up, we have a Miraculous Awakening. It is quite miraculous that they haven't even added a brand new card to this category since the release of this category. The only things that we've gotten is the easy A's of certain characters like Namek Ku. And even then, that's not even a free-to-play card. Best unit that we have in here is Super Saiyan 2 Kava, Kale, and as well as UI Goku. But that's not even enough to build a full team. Next up is GT Bosses. We have a wacky leader skill. At least we have our own free-to-play leader skill and a good, strong support. But outside of that, there's no other free-to-play cards that you can even bring. We're really waiting for... More units as well as Awakenings for GT Freezer and GT Cell. Halfway through the list, Legendary Existence. I can't believe this category even exists. <laughs> Another category where it hasn't really been touched since its arrival. And Free-to-Play doesn't have a proper leader for it. Making it a big struggle to build a team. And even then, our only good reps are Demon King Piccolo as well as UI Goku. UI Goku fills out a lot of these weird, janky teams, but he himself is not enough to carry the whole category for free-to-play. In the fourth spot, we have Shadow Dragon Saga. In the shadow of GT bosses for the worst category, it's kind of the same problem. At least you have more options in here. You have the Spirit Bomb Goku, as well as the Grade 8 Vegeta. But as you can see, we're still missing some options, and it's just pretty much the reliance of the friend unit being so good which is the super saiyan fours even though they aren't the leader you can sacrifice the leader skill just to run this op unit now we're in the top three it's not really ordered but super saiyan 3 is our next category with the update of super saiyan 3 bardock it is nice having a 170 percent leader but it still doesn't solve our issue of still being having to run a 33 percent leader being the third anniversary super saiyan 3 goku that's insane that we're still, we're four years ahead of this guy's release and we still don't have like a proper Super Saiyan 3 leader, which is absolutely crazy. We're still running units that awakened like years ago and yeah, it's just not defensively or offensively good other than the friend. I think you all seen this one, but Giant Form is our next category. Tapion, not too good of a unit these days. And of course, the roster is absolutely stacked here. I will say you can at least build a full team, so I'll give him that. But is the team good? Not really, unless they transform every single turn. And the final category is Entrusted Will. Although it has quite a bit of free-to-play units, it's hard to glue them up together without a good leader skill. You can run a Vegeta's family version. But then you're missing out on some good Goku's family unit. And there's not enough Trunkses to go around, unfortunately, which is quite weird. So we're just waiting for some more Trunkses. And then this team can actually be useful. But how long will that be? I'm not too sure. That's going to be it for the top 10 worst categories for 2022. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I try to make this nice, short, and sweet. Because I don't want to be a Debbie Downer in this video. I'm just trying to give light to hopefully one of the Dogon reps to actually give me some free-to-play options for these categories because i know one day they're gonna release a super battle road even though some of them already have a super battle road and we're just gonna struggle like hell 
So if you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, stay healthy, stay safe, stay fizzy. Peace out.